Hi everyone! Mbappe scores in his debut appearance for Real Madrid, capturing the first UEFA Super Cup of his career. Aside from that, we'll talk about the latest biggest signings from the world of top football. So sit back and make yourself comfortable while we begin. Let's get the show on the pitch! Ancelotti secured his 14th title as Real Madrid head coach, which now has him level with the iconic Miguel Munoz as the most successful manager in the club's history in terms of trophies won. Having won the 2024 European Super Cup, Real Madrid midfielder Luka Modric became the most decorated player in Los Blancos history. This is the 38-year-old Croatian's 27th trophy with the Marangas. Manchester United have announced a contract renewal with their midfielder Bruno Fernandes. The new agreement with the 29-year-old Portuguese is valid until June 30, 2027 and includes an option to extend for a further season. AS Roma are still awaiting an official bid from Al Katsia regarding the signing of Paolo Dybala. The Saudi side has made progress in negotiating the contract of the 30-year-old Argentine. As of now, the decisive matter is the transfer fee that Knight of the East will offer for Dybala. Sporting are in talks with Barcelona over the transfer of Vitor Roque, writes Matteo Moretto. The Opta supercomputer predicts that Real Madrid will retain the La Liga title in the 2024-25 campaign with a likelihood of 86%. Manchester United intend to sell Christian Eriksen as the club looks to make room for a new midfielder in the squad. Girona are planning to make a major investment to sign a winner this summer. The priority is 20-year-old Watford winner Yasser Asprilla. Jerdan Shakiri has left Chicago Fire as a free agent, having made 36 appearances for the man in red. Cristiano Ronaldo scored a goal and delivered an assist in the Saudi Super Cup semi-final. Al Nasser defeated Al Tavun with a score of 2-0. There are too many players in the squad that don't have the quality to play for Chelsea, claims William Galas. Juventus have announced that goalkeeper Wojciech Szczęsny will leave the club following a mutual agreement to terminate his contract. The 34-year-old Pole has been representing the White and Blacks for seven seasons. I wonder if Man City are deliberately not recruiting anyone because they think these transfers could be blocked due to FFP violations. Gary Neville wonders. Croatian midfielder Marcelo Brozovic and Netherlands defender Daily Blind have retired from international football. Barcelona centre-back Clément Lenglet has reached an agreement to join Atletico Madrid. It is noted that Villarreal also wanted to secure Lenglet's services. The preparation feels good, but every team probably has the same feeling. I am excited and looking forward to the start of the Bundesliga next week, said Thomas Müller. Chelsea are open to renewing Nicholas Jackson's contract for nine years. As of now, the Blues agreement with the footballer runs until 2031. Valencia goalkeeper Georgi Mamardashvili will become a Liverpool player. The clubs have reached an agreement over his move. The Reds offered more than 30 million euros for the player. Manchester United have splashed out a staggering 272.4 million euros on transfers for players who previously played under current head coach Eric Ten Hag during his tenure at Ajax from 2017 to 2022. Napoli are closing in on a deal to sign David Neres from Benfica. Official bid has been sent to Portuguese club on improved fee as agreement now very close to being sealed. Final details, and then Neres will pan four-year deal as Napoli player, expected soon. Obviously, Alvarez is going to be a miss for Man City. For how he stepped in when Erling Haaland was injured, I think it was phenomenal, stated Kyle Walker. Carlo Ancelotti on new signings after Euro case and Kamavinga injury. No, our market is closed. I will not ask for any other signing. Atletico Madrid are mulling over the signing of Al Itihad defensive midfielder N'Golo Kante, according to Relevo. AC Milan are closing in on Yusuf Fofana deal. 
AC Milan have improved the structure of their beat and the agreement with AS Monaco is now very close. Work in progress to get the deal done this week. Fofana only wanted to play for Milan. Jude Bellingham has been selected as the player of the match for his performance in the UEFA Super Cup 2024 final. Real Betis continue to work on bolstering their centre-forward position. During the negotiations on Nathan, Sevilla also turned to Napoli's Giovanni Simone. Atletico Madrid will earn 1 million euros per season from their new sponsor, In Post, whose parcel delivery lockers will be installed at the Metropolitano. Mbappe has the quality to score more than 50 goals in a single season, thinks Carlo Ancelotti. Alright, it's time to hit the like button under this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you still haven't done so for some reason. Thank you! Kylian Mbappe made his first appearance in Real Madrid starting 11 and earned a predictable victory over Atalanta in the UEFA Super Cup. The first half resulted in a 0-0 draw, but after the break Los Blancos managed to find ways to the opponent's goal. Valverde was the one to open the scoring after Vinicius' assist, and then Kylian himself scored the game winner after an assist from Jude Bellingham. A logical triumph for the Merengues. Our congratulations to all Real Madrid supporters. Moving on to other news of the release. Munir Nazraoui, the father of Barcelona winner Lamine Yamal, has been discharged from the hospital after being stabbed in a parking lot in the Spanish town of Mataro, up the coast from Barcelona, Relevo reports. The 35-year-old man's life is not in danger, and he is already at home. Nazraoui was treated at the Can Ruti hospital in Badalona. The police are already investigating the incident. It is believed that the stabbing may have been the result of an earlier altercation, in which Yamal's father could have been involved, though the exact reasons behind the attack remain unclear. PSG have almost completed the transfer of Rennes winner Desiré Doué. The transfer fee for the 19-year-old Frenchman will be 60 million euros. On August 12, the Parisians received the footballer's green light for the move. On August 15, he will undergo a medical at the Red and Blues camp. The French giants beat Bayern Munich in the race for Doué, who scored four goals and provided four assists in 42 appearances last season. Napoli sporting director Giovanni Manna is in London, trying to seal the transfer of Chelsea forward Romelu Lukaku, informs journalist Giovanni Capuano. The Parthenopians have offered the London club a swap deal, in which Napoli will receive Lukaku, midfielder Cesare Casadei, and 45 million euros, while Chelsea will receive their attacker Victor Osiman. Arsenal have opened talks with Real Sociedad over Mikel Merino, writes Marca journalist Oscar Badayo. The white and blues rejected the first offer from the Gunners. 30 million euros were offered for the players' services, but La Real are demanding more than 40 as of today. And this is based on a report from journalist Mikel Recalde from Noticias de Hipuscoa. Manchester United winner Jadon Sancho could switch to PSG, while the French team's midfielder Manuel Ugarte could join the Red Devils. Basically, PSG may loan the 24-year-old Englishman with an obligation to buy. The clubs are also holding talks over transfers of 23-year-old Ugarte and 26-year-old Rashford. Sancho's departure to Paris seems unlikely at the moment, though the clubs are hopeful that they will be able to finalize the deal. Negotiations on Ugarte directly depend on the outcome of Sancho's transfer, since United are trying to comply with FFP rules. Real Madrid still intend to sign Al Nasser centre-back Aymeric Laporte. According to us, this will only be possible if the Saudi side agrees to let the player go as a free agent. It should be recalled that Laporte joined Al Nasser in the summer of 2023 from Manchester City for 27.5 million euros. His contract with the Knights of Najd is valid until June 30, 2026. Besides, in case of joining Los Blancos, Aymeric will have to take a pay cut. He is currently earning 24 million euros per season after taxes, as part of the Saudi Pro League outfit. Real will not be able to afford such a salary. 
Hajduk split midfielder Ivan Perisic could end up at Barcelona. The Spanish Titans keep searching for the winner after failing to land Athletics Nico Williams and Bayern Munich's Kingsley Coman. The 35-year-old Croatian can be available as a free agent since he has been suspended from the white squad due to a conflict with the new head coach Gennaro Gattuso. Folks, we invite you to join our Inside Football channel to find out why Vinicius Jr. can still join Al Ahli for 1 billion euros. Be sure to check it out soon. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye. See you next time.